We've got a steak dinner. We both have steak dinner. We both have T-bones. Khakis is covered in onions and... And mushrooms. Fuck oh, yeah. me, Oh, I forgot. I forgot my sauce, but it's all right. Hey, Zach, how are you? What's up, Zach? What's the matter? Fucking Twitch. Oh. Piece of shit. I hate this fucking app so much. It's not the app. It's just... It's, it's the app. What, what could it be? What could it be? Could you, uh, I don't know. Seriously. Anyways, T-Bone Steaks. The app's being an asshole. T-Bone Steaks and and I've got baked potatoes. Stuffed baked potatoes with broccoli, sour cream. Um, Tacky's got bacon bits on hers. Yes. I've got cracked red pepper on mine. I forgot the steak sauce. This is, this is a man's meal, okay? This is a fucking man's meal. Steak and potatoes. And it's a woman's I've meal. I've got a beer. I've got a That's beer. It's a woman's meal too. Why would you give me, like, the worst steak knife in the damn drawer? I, these are the worst. No. Those are the here, worst. Here, put these no. back then. What's worst, wrong with them? Because they suck. I don't see anything wrong with them. What's up, Zach? You will when you start to cut. My phone was dying. Oh, don't worry. Hey, don't worry. Don't worry. Shit happens. Shit happens. God damn it, woman. Where's the knives? Thank you. When you start to cut, you'll, you'll see the freaking difference. I think we need to invest in some good knives, huh? Alright, here we go. Those are good knives. The no. ones that Jamie got, not like, so good knives. Like, really good knives. This steak. That's how I like it. Pink. Pink inside. These were cooked on the George Foreman grill tonight. Oh, yeah, baby. It's a good fucking steak. You want to see a close up? I Maybe. seasoned that steak. <laughs> mm hmm. Twitch? Hello, Marissa. Hi, Marissa. Now, the question is do I go in with the baked potato with a right fork here. and a knife, Kagi? Or do I pick up the baked potato and just make a pig of myself tonight? Which one do you think? You're gonna make a pig out of yourself regardless. And yes, if you are noticing, Jamie don't know how to use a knife the right way. It's my hands. I'm double jointed. Mm. Oh hell yeah, this steak's badass. Here's the thing. We went to three different stores today and Kaki got the Kaki picked out the uh the meat. We went to two stores. Not three. Oh yeah, we didn't go to stop and shop. Kaki picked out the meat. And she didn't want the steak that I originally got, so she went to her job. She goes, you could have waited and got a T-bone. I'm like, fuck. My T-bone was only six bucks, guys. Mine the steak was... that I'm eating right here is six bucks. Jamie's steak was eight dollars. The same one, this one? Mm-hmm. Because it was, it was bigger. It was bigger. But, hey Munchkin, we're going to do mm. steak. We didn't marinate the meat. Marissa, I, um... I just sprinkled some meat tenderizer on them, some pepper, and some adobo. This is good. Oh yeah, it's good. No, the potatoes, the steak. Having a beer with steak. You know when's the last time I had a beer with my steak? Yeah, adobo is good. Did you, you didn't put adobo on mine. Kathy mm -hmm. seasoned mine too. Oh, you did. Hell yeah, I did. On mine, Adobo's I, good on everything. I thought you just put mm -mm. Um, meat tenderizer on it. Mm -mm. <clears throat> it's easy. Who does sour cream on their baked potatoes with cheese? Horseradish? I like that. That and horse on, on baked potatoes? Hey, booty gal. Hey, booty gal. I never had horseradish on a baked potato. I have a feeling I would like it though because I like spicy. I was originally gonna, my cousin did this BLT yesterday. And I was thinking about it. I'm like, you know what? This one job because there's a bone in there. Yeah, I know. But the bone goes like this, right? It's like, what the fuck? And the bone's here. I'm gonna have to and turn here. it like this. I'm gonna have to turn it like this. Mm hmm. You hate steak, but baked potatoes look delicious. Thank you, Munchkin. So you're not a steak fan, huh? Munchkin, why don't you like steak? 
there's got to be a reason you not like it because of like the animal part or you just don't like how it's kind of uh, hard to chew. Which one is That's it, girl? That's the bomb. Thank you, booty girl. The one thing I hate about steak Steak's is... Steak's not hard to chew. Well... If you cut it the right direction. What? You don't like steak either? Why not? Why not? I don't do steak a lot. Like this kind no. of steak? I don't do steak often either. You don't do steak a lot at all. But... It was like, I told Pat, I love like, steak, though. I'm like, I'm going to do a fucking... Here's the thing. I saw one of... I, I, I'm a big uh, fan of The Rock. And I was scrolling through his Instagram. And uh, just because I do that to get motivated and stuff. And he posted one of his cheat meals. And it was like a this big steak. He had some baked potatoes. Hey, yeah, yeah. That's absolutely 100% correct. You have to cook it correctly. You can't overcook a steak. No. You overcook a steak, yeah. It's gonna taste like shit. The well, steak you, is not overcooked at all. Yours? Nope. Is it pink inside? Yep. Look at that. Pink. I thought you don't like that. I've actually grown to like it. If you were to see Kathy eating her steak or burger a year ago, and Pisces is not a fan of baked potatoes, I hate that it's hard to chew. I can understand that. With mm. red in it, so just find a delicious steak. That, I got you. It's only hard to chew if it's cut in the wrong direction. You just don't like meats. That makes sense, too. Understood. You have to cut the steak. Marissa likes hers medium, as, as do I. Yeah. You have to cut your steak in the correct direction. If you cut it in the wrong direction, what, like yeah. like when you're eating it? Mm-hmm. How the fuck do you I know? You have to cut it against the grain rather than with the grain. If you cut it with the grain, it's going to chopping the shit out of mine. I don't even know how to do it. Can you point me in the right direction? Why is it so hard to cut? I think you're probably close to the bone. You think that's what it is? So how should I go about this motherfucker? Um. You don't have to cook, the, you don't have to let the steak rest? I always let the steak rest, you have to. Yeah, ours rusted. I mean, my steak has been out for like the last... I'm just going to pick it up like a savage. Oh, make sure your steak rests. Oh, yeah. The steak rested a while. Steak rested at least 15 minutes. That's all fat right there at the end. Bloody steak. I Listen, I'm just, I'm just a steak guy. I don't like my over... I don't like my meats overcooked. You want to know something funny? When I was hashtagging my meal tonight, I hashtag steak. And you know who popped up? Fasting oh. bastard follows this steak. Of course he does. <laughs> of course he does. Listen. I laughed when I went to post that. I was like, oh my god. I hashtag steak too, but I didn't see I didn't see anything pop up. It said fasting bastard follows this. Is that when you <laughs> clicked on it or no? Like. <clears throat> when I said or when I said hashtag steak and then you look at like the ones to click Who follows on follows the hashtag? It said it didn't even say like how many like people follow it, it just says fasting bastard follows steak. <laughs> hey Lacey. The kids did not have steak. The kids wanted um the kids chicken had halal over food tonight. Halal food, yeah. I went um here's how my day started. I got up, I had a couple sips of my coffee, and then my mom asked me so nicely to go pick up her and my dad and my brother lunch, which I did. They got halal food. I brought that in, kids came sniffing. Kids came sniffing, and they're like, I want some, I want some, and then they asked for that for dinner, so we said, sure. Yeah, so we made them split a chicken over rice meal, which, let me tell terrible. you. I literally threw up, yeah. The whole meal is pretty much gone. Except for a little bit of rice. The kids like demolished it. That's how good it is. Yeah, they like it. And here's the thing with Lucas. Like, Lucas will sit there and say, like, I don't like chicken. I don't like rice. But he will sit there and eat the he crap ate out of this chicken and rice. He came back like around 8 30, 9 o'clock. He's like, I'm hungry. All right, you can have your chicken and rice. He sat there all happy, was whistling to himself. 
What is it, him and his little baby? Mm-hmm. He had his little baby with him. Or he was just enjoying dinner. I'm like, that's good. That's good. And now I craved halal mm. food after seeing it. No, I walked into that place. I smelt it on and the way home. I knew home damn well today. when I left there today. I was like, yeah, I'm having steak, but. Halal food might I be on the totally menu. I could totally scrap the steak right now. And just get chicken over rice and a friggin' jar roll. I kind of, the only thing I really wanted to scrap the steak dinner with. I could have scrapped the whole thing. Or some homemade burgers. Homemade burgers I could have did tonight. Now, we actually went food shopping for the week for our protein. This week, we're doing burgers. We are doing pork chops. We are doing some kind of chicken. Well, you're doing pork chops. I didn't grab pork chops myself. Okay, well, I'm doing pork chops, which Munchkin made it clear that she does not like. Munchkin, me and you do not see eye to eye on foods. You don't like fucking McDonald's. You don't like steak. You don't like pork chops. Oh, you like pork. I love pork chops. Pork chops and applesauce. I love that. That I don't like. Mmm. So good. Stuffed chicken. You left hand. Am I left handed? I'm right handed. Lacey, why do you Do you ask? like stuffed chicken? I love stuffed chicken. What are you stuffing the chicken with, Marissa? Like chicken cordon bleu? Chicken cordon bleu. It depends. Like you can stuff chicken with cheese. Or bruschetta. My meal is like 2,300 okay, calories. Shoot, though. Beef steak, turkey meat, mushrooms, marrow. Mmm. You lost me at Beats. I've never had Beats. I don't like Beats. I don't beets. know if I can try Beats. Beats tastes, beets tastes like dirt to me. I am not a fan of Beats. What are Beats? I've heard beets, of them. They're a vegetable. They're very, very red. They can stain your teeth. Like and, your wine? Yeah. And they taste like dirt. What are they? Like, in my what, opinion. What's the nutrient value? I don't know. I don't like them. Well, Lacey, here's the thing. I don't use a knife the right way. I don't use my utensils the right way just because of my hands. I'm double jointed, as most of you guys know. So I kind of just eat to where it's comfortable, comfortable for me. But yes, I'm cutting with my left, my left hand. That is what is comfortable for me right now. I always cut my meat with my left hand. Oh. Um. You love pork chops. My bad. I thought you said you hate pork chops. I was going to say, how do you hate that and then, like, hate steak at the same time? No. <laughs> I was going to say, that was a little weird. This is good. I'm happy with this meal. I am happy with this meal. Munchkin had beets. Pisces. Hey, Pisces. Oh, I am not a fan of beets. I've never had beets. I would try them, but I can't see myself like purposely buying them. Mm -mm. You don't see that anywhere, Pisces? Kaki's like that with Brussels sprouts, too. Which I've never had. Oh, Brussels sprouts are nasty. I think the only vegetables we stick to are broccoli, tomato, onions, peppers. The good ones. Cauliflower. Carrots. I pass on the cauliflower. I like cauliflower. I like carrots. I like... You can bend your fingers back a little? Eggplant. But Lacey, are your fingers like messed up like mine? And like I used to... this, And I've said this before, but this used to be a huge, huge... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? This used to be a, a big, like, flaw of my, like, I was very... Self-conscious. Self-conscious about my fingers. Because I got made fun of, all that, you know, happy jazz. And, like, I lost that self-confidence, you know, confidence when I started streaming. I forgot all about it. And so somebody on here pointed it out. She now, every time I see a video, or I see my video, I look at my, my fingers. Zucchini beats. Well, I've never heard of zucchini beads. All right. I've heard of yeah, I've heard of zucchini, 
And then I've heard of Beats, but I've never heard of actual, like, Zucchini Beats. Okay, you got me with the shake and bake. And then Munchkin, that's all me right there. It comes with applesauce and my nose. Munchkin, that's all me. Coated in shake and bake, and then you dip that shit in applesauce. It's like the best thing ever. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. That is delicious. That's that was not beats I, boats. Oh boats! It said beats earlier, or you Bro said beats. I might have said beats. That might have been my fault. You said beats. It was my fault then. All right. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't help it, but. It's just the... Uh, zucchini boats, not zucchini beets. You're reading... Yeah, no, I didn't read it wrong. I did. It's okay. Mr. Jamie right here read it wrong. Zucchini boats. Got it. Uh, I used to do that with pizza. I used to make zucchini pizza boats back in the day. Boats and hose. Boats and hose. There was no hose. It was just boats. You need to wear khaki's glasses. No, I, I shouldn't be so wearing nasty. glasses. Lacy, shake and bake is not nasty. Gotta get the correct flavor, girl. Marissa, no, I should be wearing glasses when it comes to yes, reading. Yes, he should. I just, I don't. I used to. Mm. I gotta get a nap, and this is so good. Bite it like a doggy. Yeah, he just needs to see an eye doctor in general. <laughs> or he needs to learn how to read. I don't know. <laughs> Do you know how many doctors I one need to see? One of the two. Do you need a napkin? I got you one if you do. Thank you. I'll put one in the middle. Well, I, I need to see a lot again. of doctors for different reasons, okay? What wine am I drinking? <clears throat> um, it was actually a new wine tonight. <clears throat> I don't remember the name. Hold on. I don't remember the name of the wine, but give me a second. Someone learn how to read. I know how to read. I just I should be wearing glasses, and I don't. This is actually a Spanish wine, a uh, Spanish red wine. Is this the first time having it? Yeah. Is it good? Oh my god, it's delicious. And it's fourteen percent alcohol. <laughs> so who recommended this wine? Nobody. So you just pick up wine. I listen when I. Pick and if up, you don't like it, what do you do? Can you listen? Yeah, I'm listening. When I, pick up, when, when I pick up wine, I look at the label, and I'm like, oh, this looks interesting. And then I turn it over, and I look at the alcohol content. The alcohol content determines which wine I buy. Like, I could pick up, like, four, five, six different wines. I'm going to pick up the one that has the most alcohol content. And that says it's the driest wine. Because I like really dry wine, guys. Like, I don't like sweet wine. Sweet wine for me, like... Gives me a stomach ache. I can't drink it. I don't know. I feel like I would if I picked up a wine. If I was a wine drinker and I picked up wine and it stunk, I feel like my meal would be my my my, my drinking would be. I ruined. haven't picked up a stinker yet. Watch next week. She picks up a stinker. Oh, Jamie, you jinxed me. My mm, bad. No. When it comes to red wine, I'm usually pretty good with picking up a decent red wine. And maybe you're just one of those cats that. No, if it was sweet. Don't really care what it tastes like. No, if it was sweet, I wouldn't be able to drink it. If there's alcohol in it, it's got Khaki's name on no. it. No. Mm -mm. If it's too sweet, I can't drink it. <sighs> What's the most sweet alcohol? wine gives me like the worst headache the next day. What's the most alcohol percent in percentage in wine? Pisces would like to know. Pisces. I've had me neither, Pisces. Um, Nineteen Crimes Uprising is fifty percent alcohol. Fifteen percent. That's a lot. Yeah. For a wine. For wine, yes. That's the most alcohol content I've ever seen in a wine. And I only get that when my friend from work, well, yep. the boar's head guy. The boar's head guy. He's like the mailman. He's the wine mailman, and he is awesome. His name is Bob. And he no longer goes to that store in Westbury, so I'm very upset. Because I don't think I'm ever getting that wine at $5 a bottle anymore. <laughs> and there's nowhere around here you could get it. 
I can, but it will be for like $12 a bottle when he used to get it for five. I think I'm gonna have to make the trip out to that specific liquor store to get it for five. If it's in Westbury, that means we're going to a- It is in Westbury. That means we're going to a special pizzeria called Portofino's and yeah. we will get the best buffalo chicken pizza. It, it is in Westbury and- We should do that Friday. I could spend, apparently, according to him, I could spend hours in the store. Because Which we that's... won't. You oh, I there. could, and I may. Chef Man, thank you. Appreciate that. You drinking Michelob Ultra? Very nice, Nisbo. Nisbo, I'm drinking Bud Light tonight. Thank you, Chef Man. You're awesome. Here's thank the... you. I Sundays, I usually don't drink. I usually like to have my beers on a Friday and a Saturday, unless I have a bad day at work, and then I might have, you know, a few. My plan was to, to not have any beers tonight, and then Khaki was getting my juice ready. And I'm like, steak, T-bone steak and baked potatoes. Like, a man's supposed to have a beer with his steak. It was a woman. It would be cheaper for us to just drive there and get it. Where? To Westbury and pick it up. Because otherwise we're not really. shipping. Look at gas. You want to know how much shipping is on a case of wine? Sure, how much? It goes by weight. Okay. It's probably way more than a gallon of gas. It's gonna cost us 20 bucks just to get there. No, it's not. Westbury? It's not gonna cost us $40 to get there and back. No, no, $20 to get there and back. So you're gonna tell me that though, that's gonna trump the wine? Yeah. Well, look at it this way. If we go what? out when, there, when you, um, I'm getting pizza. So, that's fine. That's gonna boost up the price more. You gotta put all of, all of the all of the you know the pieces together. Here's the thing: I'll go with Katie, and then you have the pizza. God bless you. Because me and Katie were planning on a trip out there, so then go. You and Katie take the ride. I think Erica's gonna drop us off and then pick us up. <laughs> and then you guys could stop off at Portofino's and bring me home a nope. buffalo chicken pizza. Mm -hmm. Nope. The heart plays, but one of my most inspirational. Did I miss something, Billy? Nelson? Port wine is 20%, but it's kind of sweet. Yeah. Who said that? Lacey, yeah. I can do sweet wine, Lacey. Kaki, what Billy Nelson said before that? See, Billy Nelson? Yeah. Don't mean that he Hold said on. something. Oh, the heart faces. You didn't mean the heart faces, but one of most. Eh, what does that say? I think that was a typo. I don't know. Billy, do you care to... Do you care to elaborate? That's the word I'm looking for. Did you mean inspirational? Me? Kaki? I'll take that. I'll take that. The worst is when you got an itch on your leg and your hands are covered in sour cream and cheese. Then you lick your fingers and itch yourself. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna let it go. Keep on eating. It's okay. But you guys are great. Thank you for everything. Started the Blake diet strictly because of you guys. That's Thank great, Billy. Thank you. That's awesome. I'm glad we could inspire you. That's awesome. How are you liking the diet so far? How long have you been a part of the diet? It's fucking great. I love hearing that. And so do I. That makes me very happy. I know Jax doesn't like green beans. <laughs> Why did he? Because he won't eat the green bean that I dropped. <laughs> I keep kicking it towards him and he keeps just looking at me. Like, bitch, I don't want that. You can't eat green beans by itself? Hell no, much can either could I. Oh, I love green beans. Green beans have got to be tossed in garlic and cheese sauce. Oh, there's tons of garlic on my green beans. That's a good question, Pisces. Did you call Fitbit yet? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Next time, just don't give the girl advice, Pisces. I should call Fitbit myself because mine's a piece of shit. But I, at the same time, I jumped in a pool. You uh, don't gotta tell him that. No, you don't. But I need to get a new one anyway. That's kind of like what happened to my last one. I jumped into a pool. Yeah, but and this is a brand new one, and it's a piece of shit. Um, hmm? that's what this is—a brand new one. You got this for me at Christmas. And it's a piece of shit. 
Didn't I say that? Yeah, but my Would last you agree? one. Yes, but my last one <clears throat> is the one that I jumped to the school with. I know. And, and that one works more accurately than this one to track my heart rate. Correct, but I was saying that that's a new one and it's a piece of shit. Yeah. I thought so, you meant yours is a new one. No, 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 no. Uh, Nisbo, hold on one second. The moral of the story is don't buy a fucking Fitbit because they're pieces of garbage and they don't eat, they don't work. My calories for this meal is twenty three hundred. <clears throat> Favorite wrestler of all time, Shawn Michaels. Razor yeah, let's see. I was wrong. How about you? Your favorite wrestler of all time. I love Fandango. <laughs> if you're a wrestling fan and somebody asks you your favorite wrestler of all time and then their response, the answer you get is Fandango. You can tell right then and there that they're not wrestling fans. No, I cannot read Munchkin. What did I, what did I say wrong? Pisces laughing my ass off. Listen, Fandango's awesome. I love Fandango. And he's hot. But of all time? No, of all time, man. I was just being stupid. If you're kidding, you give that answer. I just said I was being stupid. For about a month. No, no, no. Lost eight pounds, but I love every meal I do, and I feel great. Billy, that's awesome. That's all that matters. That's awesome, and congrats on the eight pounds. Eight pounds is awesome. Especially for a month. That's Billy no. Fucking great. What's your name on the Blake diet? Is it the same? <laughs> oh. He is cute. I'll give you that. Hell yeah, he's cute. You said you love green beans by itself. Oh munchkin, well. My bad, I didn't mean to misread what you said, but I'm going to disagree with you. Oh, I, I love green beans like by themselves eat too, girl. Green beans by itself. I don't like to eat vegetables by itself. Milk power. Milk power, Munchkin. Wait, it is unacceptable. Wait, what? Well, I guess your answer as Heartbreak Kid is unacceptable. He's my favorite. Always been my favorite. I've, I've looked up to him um, my whole life since he was a rocker. That's how long I go back. What do I cook my green beans with? Do we have frozen veggies usually? Yeah. Salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. Yeah. And a little bit of cayenne. Lacey, like the broccoli is usually frozen. Like we don't get fresh oh, yeah. broccoli. But everything Bradley's else like usually always frozen. Green beans always frozen. Just because they last longer that way. And we don't and we don't waste always them. know what we're gonna do until around seven o'clock, seven thirty. Sometimes later. Same thing with cauliflower. Cauliflower I always buy frozen. My Especially if I'm gonna mash it up and like make like a cauliflower mash, I usually buy frozen. Is it normal for your teeth to hurt the following day after eating a steak dinner? No. Mine does every single day. Mm -mm. My teeth never hurt. Although, guys, I'm experiencing something kind of weird today. I'm experiencing, like, this portion of my face, like, feeling very, very, very sore. And, like, to the touch, it feels like somebody punched me in the face. I didn't do it. Like, obviously, nobody punched me in the face, but... Like, I don't know. Yeah, we always have broccoli in the freezer, Lacey. It just feels, like, very sore to the touch. Like, it's, like, the weirdest feeling. And I've had this once before. You were sleeping on the stream last night. You might have did something no. when you went to fell over. Yeah. and No, because this has happened to me before. Maybe you fell asleep the other times, too. No. This has happened to me before. And unfortunately, I googled. <laughs> yeah, I'm one of those people that googles their symptoms. Like, I know it's really bad. You should never go Pisces had something. that feeling before. You've had it before? And what do you do, Pisces? And did How it do go you... away or did you go to the doctor? Like, what did you do? Because I went and Googled my symptoms. And, and what did they say? It said that I may have a brain tumor. 
But that's what WebMD Ice Spore says for like everything. Like you have cancer. Is that what the answer usually is? Going to try yeah. meal prep this week? It goes away. It goes Pisces away. Because I've read a lot about it. And it's like pressure on like a, a blood vessel can like put pressure on a nerve and all this other crap if you have multiple sclerosis. And then it could be like a stroke. It could be this. It could be that. It's just like, oh my God. You have no idea like guys like what I read up about this today. That's why no I, don't, I don't Google shit. I Google shit all the time. It I, went away on its own? You know what? Kit, my best friend, Katie, and I, that's all we do, is we Google our symptoms. And then we yell at each other for Googling our symptoms, but yeah, we still do it. I can't help it. Like, what's the purpose it's of It's like doing an that? addiction. I don't know. Do you ever get any good news from WebMD? No. WebMD's an asshole. But what's the reason for getting it? 8 of 22? Like, what could that be? Pisces, do you guys know? Oh, I'm sure you... on its own, yeah. That's, that's what usually happens. It usually happens. But today it was, like, really bad. Today it wasn't just, like, my cheek. Today it was, like, the whole side of my face. Like, down to my jaw. How often do you get this? Maybe you should go see a doctor. I'd go see a doctor. It's been a while since the last time that happened. It's been a while. Google's your best friend and its enemy? Yeah, Google's my enemy at this point. I use Google to type in addresses. Google's my fucking enemy. I use Google to type in addresses. Google when can I'm... guide me to where I need to go, but after that, Google can go fuck itself because Google serves me no purpose other than to scare the shit out of me. Well, that's why doctors tell you, do not Google your symptoms. I know, but I do it all the time. It's so bad. Like... The main thing I used to Google Google for when it came to symptoms, your meal so small today. Yeah, mm. Nisbo, um, my meal is like 2,300 calories. Uh, I had a lot of pizza over the weekend. I had a lot of donuts over the weekend. So Sundays I always try to stay extra low and get ready for the new week. Like tomorrow will be low. Tuesday will be low. <laughs> Wednesday and Thursday will be low. And then Friday I'm... Smacking ass cheeks and taking names. Pizza names, that is. And cookie names. Yeah, Munchkin. Google is not my friend. It's not my friend. Well, it's kind of like that friend that you hate. That you keep, just keep being their friend. Because you feel bad. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I kind of feel about Google. It's a lot to do with nerves and the way they sleep. And what you did the night before. Even if you don't realize what you do. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you. You still need to go see a doctor. I do. Because now I'm freaked out like I have a brain tumor or something. I was going to say something. I was going to say something and Lacey made me lose track of what I was going to say. So I was reading her comment, not your fault, not your fault. What are you talking about? Google. Somebody... Nisb anyway, oh, calories and why I'm going so low. Yeah, listen, I'm getting ready to fuck shit up for next Friday. So you got to do it. You got to be responsible. Especially when it comes to your calories. I have not been the best with my calories. I want to say the last, this last week because of vacation. But it's a new week. New week, new goals, Ben. Right, Ben? Oh, yeah. New week, new goals for me as well. Your st khaki starting a cut in September. Mm -mm. Right? Oh. I was going to wait till September, but... You're starting now? This is my last untracked meal, guys. This will be my last untracked meal. What about wine? You said you're giving up wine, too. I'm giving up wine. Wine. <clears throat> With exception for Saturdays. Saturdays will be the only day that I drink wine. That? Oh, Saturdays. Saturdays. Okay. So I am going to get my favorite wine on a Saturday and drink the whole bottle. Or you could just have half the bottle and enjoy it Friday and Saturday. No. No, because I feel like crap. I'm Saturday still, morning. I'm still drinking this one. I didn't want to go like crazy drink tonight. But I did want to have a beer with my steak. I gotta wash my hands. 
I wonder where Isabella gets it from. Because I know it's not me. I gotta wash my hands. My hands are sticky. Uh, my hands are fucking sticky. <laughs> my hands are sticky. My hands are sticky. That's our daughter to a team. The calorie target, but double grand the patience to add all the calories. Oh, the steak is so good. Oh, the steak is fucking good. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'll be right back. I might as well take this with me considering I'm done. <clears throat> If you make a one pot meal, you don't even know how to go about making. Yeah. See, Lacey, that's that's like my thing. Like, I have to like when I track during the week, I have to know how many calories are in my meal. Now, if I do a one pot meal, I'm going to weigh everything <laughs> that goes into that meal. That's the only way you're gonna know. You have to invest in a food scale. And they might seem complicated. It's really not, though. They're not. Once you use it a little bit, your hands say it was a great meal. Oh, yeah, no, Munchkin, this was a good meal. This was definitely a good meal. I'm doing steak again this this, uh, this week. Grow his hair. Yeah, I'm growing my hair out. I'm growing my hair out probably, like, to right here. Maybe. Maybe a little shorter. How much wine do you have to drink to get tipsy? Nisbo, she is, I don't want to say- I'm beyond tipsy right now. I don't want to say she's a lightweight, but she drinks the right wine in the right span of time. She gets fucked up quick. Last night she was fucked up and tired, which is a nasty combination. Oh, last night I was tired. She fell asleep on the stream, left me hanging, talking about smacking her in the face with a soft dick. Here, listen, listen to this. Fridays, I work, it's like 30 bucks. I come home, we eat dinner, it's all great, and then I don't get to bed till 1, 15, 1 30. I have to be in at 6 o'clock in the morning, okay, and then I work an 8 hour shift, on, a, on less than 3 hours of sleep, and then after that I come home, and then we usually do something with the kids, right? Yep, Saturdays. We do something with the kids, and then it's gym time, and then I play with the kids some more, and then it's shower time for me, shower time for the kids, shower time for Jamie. I go to the and store. Then and then Jamie leaves and he goes it, to the store, and then by the time- we're cooking and it's time to eat. Yeah. So, for me to fall asleep on a stream, guys, I am sorry, but you know what? I am spent. On a Saturday night, I am spent, because I've got nothing left in me. I'm tired. I went, and this is off subject, but I went the whole summer without getting any bug bites, with the exception of one. Now that summer is just about over, I've got a nasty two of them right on my freaking leg. How does that happen? How does that happen? You measure so, so grams or ounces? It all depends. It depends on what you're measuring. Lacey, sometimes when you scan a product, it'll give you, you know, uh, grams. Or ounces, or grams and ounces, it gives you a whole bunch of different. It options. gives you a different option. The the thing is, you gotta just figure you know figure out like if it's grams and you say, oh shit, this only tells me ounces. Google grams to ounces, and you can work around it that way. Now, I mean, see the one thing I picked up like working at Delhi over here over the amount of videos that I did. I can convert pounds to ounces now. And like decimals and shit. Like things that I couldn't do in high school. I was like, what in the fuck do I ever need to do this? Until I had a job in a deli. And guess what? I actually applied it to my real life. And no, that's she's when, a pro. And that's when it actually made sense to me because I could apply it to my real life. And I can do that now at like the snap of a finger. Louisiana, huh? Met the, met the chiggers real quick. What is the chiggers? For your poor son. Eat some cookies, Jamie. Nisbo, I, I am not, I can't, st I don't. Eat some cookies. <laughs> Listen, as much as I love cookies, I do. Cookies and donuts are a Friday and Saturday thing for me. If I, I mean, I have cookie thins that I do. The biggest bone in If too. I do get up in the middle of the night, 
Um, I usually have a serving of those, but the last thing I want to do is start off a brand new week yeah, no. with having a Eating fucked a up Sunday. Shit. You know what I mean? I, you still, am I still hungry? Uh, I could still eat, yeah. I definitely could. My meal wasn't big. I had three baked potatoes stuffed with bro broccoli and cheese and sour cream, and then I had one T-bone steak. Now, my original meal was going to be two steaks, and Kaki was going to do the T-bone. I'm like, I'll do the two steaks because the other two steaks didn't have a bone in it, so I'm going to do those later on in the week. I'm going to cut it up and probably put it over rice or something like that. Or fajitas. Hey, Mark. Or fajitas. Yeah, steak fajitas sound good. I'm a little hungry, Mark. Yeah. I had a steak. I had hey, a steak. Mark. And now I'm done with my steak, and I just want to, to be honest with you, I could eat fucking McDonald's. That's what I could go for right now. You could always eat McDonald's. Are tiny bugs in the grass that bite you almost like a flea for a, okay, tall grass. Yeah, I have a feeling it's from the, me rolling on the grass with the kids. Mm. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, got the man bun. You got a big man bun yourself, <laughs> my friend. You got a big old beard to go with it, though. I don't think I could grow the beard back how I used oh, to no. have it. Oh, no. Jamie's not growing that beard back. No. Number one, she wouldn't even... It wouldn't fly. No. Nope. I'd shave it while I was sleeping. Yeah. Oh, no. If, that was a one-time only deal that will never happen again. You never know. If I get fat again, I might grow the beard out just for, like, old time's sakes. No. Mm -mm. Get those nanny lights back. Stinky that dip. beard was disgusting. Yeah, no, the beard was really bad. And I always told you your beard was nasty. Chit chat and sour cream is going to Yes, it is. Oh, look who decided to join the party, Mr. Jimmy Jam. How are you tonight? Oh. I should flex before you end the stream. Flex before the end of the stream. Kaki's wearing a long sleeve. I'm not flexing. I'll flex now. I don't got, you know. Nisbo's obsessed with the flexing. Are you obsessed I'm not with the flexing? I'm not flexing. Listen, I'm very self-conscious lately about my arms. I'm not. I'm not. Flexing. When I get a good pump going on with my strength training, I flex. I see the veins, and I'm like, yeah, take advantage of all the pictures. And I even try to do some videos. Then I get interrupted. Good night, Mark. Thank you for popping in and saying hello to us. Have a good night, Mark. I got all my work shit ready. All I got to do is end the stream. Put this on YouTube. Put the camera equipment away. And that is a night. That is a fucking night. Jimmy Jim, what are you doing tonight? Anything good? Nisbo, what'd you eat tonight? I don't think you said. Just curious. Are you eating cookies right now? <laughs> you wanna share? When I got a good pump going, I take some for <laughs> Dude, we're not talking about this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mark. <laughs> we could be ta we could be talking about the same. Yeah, never know. He's like, put that pump away. You're not coming near me tonight. I'm gonna cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. Are you satisfied with your meal tonight? Yeah, my you meal are? was really good. You I'm kind of pissed that I didn't have more steak, but it was the... a pound of steak should have been enough. But it actually, technically wasn't a pound with that bun. Dinner was okay. I would give it a 7 out of 10. The potatoes and the broccoli was very nice. <laughs> have a good night, Mark. See, see you later, Mark. Oh, my dinner was very lean, that, was, that is. Yeah, it was a good, it was a nice macro Your friendly. Was right. um, steak, I wouldn't really call that lean. Steak was usually pretty dinner. high and fat. Listen, it was, a, it was a steak fucking dinner. I'm gonna say lean is fair. Lean is fair. I had my fucking macros were good tonight. I was a bit over my fat, but that's about it. I'll be low on my fat tomorrow. I'll probably be low on my fat on Wednesday. And then. You know, Fridays is a 
Dad. That's when the fucking party starts, Friday nights. Mm. For you, I'm not eating pizza this Friday. You went to a pool party today and ate a bunch of burgers and beer. That's fucking awesome. This I can I'm go, jealous. I can go for You had a bunch of burgers and you had a bunch of beer. I'm probably going to do chicken or pork chops tomorrow, and then I'm having a fucking burger. A nice, fat, thick, medium rare burger. Um, maybe <laughs> Tuesday or Wednesday. I ate and gave pizza dinner very Jamie esque. Well, yeah, it seems like everybody was doing fucking pizza today except me. I'm looking at Instagram. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Oh my god. Oh, shit, I feel good. like I saw a pizza like so many times today. On I wanted to say fuck the shake and just grab a pizza. Look, I didn't do that. What time we got? One o'clock on the dot. The question, you missed it. I ate and gave. There's chocolate chip cookies ice cream sandwich. That sounds good. I haven't had an ice cream sandwich in a long, oh my long god. time. I used to make my own ice cream sandwiches or like waffles. Yes, you did. You did a good job of it. I'm done. One beer. One beer tonight. No need to push it. No need to push it. But we will see you guys tomorrow night. She do stuffed burgers. Ah, uh, Nisbo, I was thinking about that. Juicy Lucy? I was thinking about doing that. Yeah, Juicy Lucy's. Who knows? I might just do... I'm, that sounds like a good idea. I'm not, not the only one thinking that. That's good. We will see. But we will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys have a great Monday. Please, please hope that I have a great Monday. Because I really do need it. I want this work week to be great. I want to go to work and kill it. I want to get up okay. I'll probably get up late, but I want to get up and be okay at work. Both... Have a good night. Thank you, Jimmy Jam. We will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good, good night, night guys. guys. See you tomorrow. Save and fucking share. Good night, guys. YouTube, have a good one.